Hi guys, so you've got yourself a Garmin and it's got a heart rate monitor but is this set up properly? Let's show you how. Okay, so I've just gone into my Garmin Connect on the computer and I've pulled up a recent track session that I did and we'll take a quick look at the sort of stats that you can get regarding your heart rate from your Garmin device. It tells me here that I had an average heart rate of 167 beats a minute and my maximum got up to 195 beats a minute. Now that information is fine, it's great, but we can actually dive in a bit deeper and if you go time in zones here, you can actually see how much time you spent within each of these zones, zones one, two, three, four, and five, as you worked up through that range. I'm not gonna go into the benefits of all the different ranges in this video, keep that for another video, but now what I'm gonna show you is that these zones, they can give you some good information, but only if you've got them set up correctly for your level of fitness and your level of, of cardio fitness. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do that today. So how do we set it up? In Garmin Connect, if you go up to the top right hand corner here to the watch symbol, it says devices and sync status. If I click on that and then go to device settings, brings up a new page, there it is. And then if we go to user settings, scroll down, and there we have our zones one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So we need to get the right information to put in there to get all this information set up correctly. So to do that, we're going to use this website here, polar.com. It's a simple calculator to allow us to calculate our heart rate zones. I'll put the link for this in the description below. So if you come to this page here and scroll down this, you get a bit of interesting information about heart rates, um, heart rate zones as you scroll down. But towards the bottom, here it is here, calculate your personal heart rate zones. So that's what we're gonna use. First thing it's going to ask for is your maximum heart rate. Now, the best place to get that is if you've got any information from a recent high intensity session you may have done, a training session, or perhaps a park run or some other race. If not, there is a link here where you can talk about calculating your maximum heart rate. But if you know what it is, we're going to put it in here. Now, I know mine is 198 beats per minute. And then I'll simply click show my heart rate zones. And there they are now popped up there. So in five, four, three, two, one, and we've got the upper and lower boundaries of each of these zones. So I'm gonna take a quick note of them, and then we'll take them back into Garmin and we'll get them entered into the system. Okay, so here we are back in Garmin Connect. I've got my heart rate zones up here, ready for the new information, and we'll start entering that now. I like to start from the maximum, working back up because sometimes it, it can trip over its own numbers at times but let's just put these in so the notes that i took before zone five runs from 178 to 198 so i'll put my top number in there is 198 and the lower boundary of that was 178 so put that in there the next boundary for zone four went from 158 to 178 so i'll just type that in there and the next one was 139 to 158 so 139 to 158 and then we had 119 to 139 so 119 to 139 let's just tweak that there a little bit there that's fine you can do that and then the bottom one was uh, 99 to 119 so we'll put a 99 in there so that's them all entered i'll hit save settings changes have been sa saved please sync your device now um, so basically, essentially what that means is the next time my Garmin device, my watch, syncs with the app on my phone, then all those numbers there will be sent directly to my watch so I can start using them uh, at my next train session. Okay, so there you go. That's how we do that. Give that a go. And if you have any problems, just leave me a question in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you and help you out as best I can. And uh, thank you for watching.